Hey guys, I wanted to send a quick update on the world's simplest VGA circuit I posted about yesterday. So the obvious next step was to hook it up to a Benny to style 6502 build, and that's what I've been playing with today, and this is the result. So the, the output resolution is still 40 pixels across by 480 vertically, it's still got the same weird stretched pixels, but the CPU here has uh, rendered lots of duplicate rows to square things up a bit. On the hardware side, this is a fairly standard uh, Benny to style 6502. All the address decoding and so on is exactly in his videos, uh, with, a, with ROM, RAM, 6502, 6522 and an LCD. Um, and I put a button in here which changes the image to something else. Um, oops, it's a bit bright. So yeah, that's just a white screen with colour bars on it showing the 32 different shades that this can produce using the bottom 5 bits of each byte of the video RAM. So back on the hardware side, what did I need to do to make this work? Well, at the top here is the same circuit that I showed yesterday. Um, there are some slight modifications there um, to do with um, sharing the RAM between the um, CPU and the GPU. Um, obviously the ROM has been replaced with a little slim RAM chip in there. It's one of the 71256s. They have very fast access time. I don't think it's necessary for them to be quite that fast for this, but it can't hurt. So they, that's then hooked up to these three bus transceivers. Uh, which gate the CPU's access to the to the video RAM, and the only other addition uh, oh, those are connected straight through to the address and data buses on the CPU by these horrible ribbon cables, and the only other addition to the Benny to uh, six five two circuit here is this extra quad NAND gate, which just con which which just calculates some control signals to you know control when the bus transceivers are active and when the when the video uh, RAM is under the control of the video circuit instead and things like that. So it's fairly minor modifications, um, but it works fairly well. Um, now the access to the video RAM is not very well coordinated, so when the CPU does try to write, it completely loses sync on the monitor until it's finished its writing. So this circuit really is not ideal but it is still very simple to build very simple to put together and um, if you're happy with slide slideshow graphics then yeah could be a could be an interesting thing to play with I'm gonna go on to look at better latching instead of the bus transceivers maybe to uh, make it so that it doesn't um, lose sync when it's updating the screen I think that should be fairly easy to do, um, and I'll probably look into increasing resolution. I've got some much bigger RAM chips I could put in here instead um, to get to, to get more resolution there. The more natural thing to do would be to add text output, but I'll probably play with graphics resolution first. Anyway, thought I'd give you guys an update. Have a nice day.